so till now we have asserted various things by using laravel disk but that can also be asserted or tested via php unit like on this test folder we have this browser folder and on this register.php we are just asserting or testing the registration process this can also be tested with php unit so what's the matter of using laravel disk why it is so important so in this episode we are going to do something which we cannot do with php unit so that's why we have laravel disk which allow us to test or simulate things for javascript behaviors so let's now create a new test for disk so here i will firstly create a new disk test so php artisan disk make and the test name is let's say waiting because now there are lots of waiting for this test so that test is created and you can see we have this waiting.php which is just giving this normal assertion so let's just run this and because we have better php install on our vs code we can easily run any test just by clicking there and press command r if you don't know about this just check out the php unit series and the link you can find in the description so this test is failing because we have not started the server and we know to start a server we use php artisan serve but because this is a disk testing we have dot env dot disk dot local so we need to tell that we are going to use dot env having disk dot local so run this and now if i test it and sure it works that's good and now let's do one thing what we are going to assert or what we are going to test is that user has to log in and then the user can redirect to home page yes we have done that but that part here on the register we need to actually register a user then obviously whenever the user register it will go to home page but this is not we want we just want to log in a user so this time i will simply say uh, not this one i need to say login as and then i will use the user model and i will say find the first one but because this is a test we don't have any database setup for the real users so now we are going to create a factory which is just going to create the users or a simple user not users so let's create okay and because we are using factory we you have to use the database migration so migration is here that's good we know all these things in the previous episodes so this time i'm going to log in the user by using this command and then i want to visit home page okay and then i want to assert that on the home page you have to see something and let's go to the resources folder views on the home page we have this dashboard so let's just assert that dashboard word we want the text we want so let me do one thing for showing you i will just go to home page and assert this so this will surely fails yeah it's failed because we don't have dashboard and this time i will go by logging in so run this and yes we are done it is successful but on this home page you can see we have this you are logged in and i want to show here uh, my name but i don't want to hard code it actually what i am going to expect is that there is a script or js part javascript part and here i want to firstly create a, a span okay and i will call it with the id of let's say uh, test for now okay so i will grab that span so document dot get element by id and id name is test then dot inner text i want to have as sarthak so i just delete it and you can see i have created the text inside this span by using javascript 
okay so let's assert this so whenever i go to home i want to see sarthak text there so let's run it and yes it is successful so what is the matter here what's going on here you can see we are just directly using javascript but what if i use set timeout here and timeout of two seconds two thousand millisecond and i will put this inside here this means this means this text Sarthak is going to put inside this span after two seconds. Now let's run this test. And this time you can see it fails. Because as soon as this test runs, there is no text called called Sarthak here. Okay. So how we can test it? You know, in the desk there is a call for pause. So it will just pause the test for the the timing you are going to give here so I will give two second and run the test and as soon as I run the test it just pause test for two second and then it will assert Sarthak which is there because we have done this to show you it is working absolutely fine I will just move this to three second and run the test and this time it will wait for two second but after that it will not get the text because text is going to appear after three second so I will again change the pause to three second and we are expecting that it is passing which is here so this is cool and this is great thing but you know Laravel does give you another part which is like waiting for text or wait for text so wait for text is here and I want to wait for Sartha as a text so this function will actually wait for five seconds not more than that so if I run it because we are waiting for the text and then we are asserting that so this is passing but you know if you want you can give your custom number of seconds so if I say one here run the test and you can see that test fails because I have just wait for one second so if I wait for three seconds this time it's going to pass it and yeah that's it so in the next episode we are going to assert this model system you know the bootstrap model it comes out and then we have to assert something on that how we can deal with that kind of testing that whenever we click on any button model come up and we can do something on the model and then press ok and then again something happens all these things in the next episode so if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification share these video with your friends and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye